My name's Joseph Cropley. I'm the uh, youth tutor for the service sector course. Yeah, it's just another place where young people have an opportunity to do something with their lives, um, especially those that have left school and don't have their NCA level one and two. We cover things such as tourism, hospitality, computing, work skills, life skills. Um, I try and instill values into them. I think back to the mentors I had when I was a young guy and going through a bit of trouble. It's just a couple of guys that always stand out to me that you know sort of changed my outlook on life. And, and then I thought, well, if I can do that for one other person when I'm older, then you know, I'm returning the favour. I was on this course for a year, got all my qualifications in CA Level 1 and 2. I wouldn't have had my levels in CA Levels, so I got that here. Joe as a tutor is just, he's really, he's great. He respects us as much as we respect him and I think that's why, you know, course with him works so well. The way he teaches us things is way easier like than school, like Eshus. And he knows how to make learning fun, I suppose. Yeah, I think it's that. I think it's the flexibility to um, be able to deliver a program that caters more to the needs of the learners, you know, rather than what the mainstream schooling wants you to do. Here, if I have the flexibility to just go, right, obviously this isn't working, put it down, let's do something else. <laughs> you know, we'll pick this up tomorrow, yeah. um, which is really good, you know. I ended up getting, what, like, 10 times more qualifications than what I would have at school. Yeah, did it in half the time. Just the freedom sort of thing, like at school you're more controlled. I like here, like, I enjoy learning here than other than school, so it's just different, like, I actually come here because I enjoy it, so. He's positive in sporting ways, um, engaging kids and getting involved in touch culturally through kapahaka or through contact with the marae. The ability to see these children achieve uh, NCA Level 1 and 2 is the most massive thing. Um, and it's only through kind of his commitment that it happens. I had this young guy here. I sort of like just encouraged him. And so he worked on his hygiene first and then he worked on his confidence and just talking. And because I believed in him, his self-esteem just took off. And he applied for a job at the Freezing Works and he was one of the first ones from here to ever get employed out there. And he was sort of like a pioneer. Because of him, everybody else got jobs out there because he was such an amazing worker once he got in the door. I and mean, his father was unemployed for many years also. Saw the change in him and, and then so he ended up getting a job too. And then, and then you see his mum and his younger brothers and sisters who, you know, they were working in brand new clothes and new prams and, you know, just things like that. And um, just smiles on their faces and knowing that they had food in their cupboards. And so that sort of thing, yeah, that, that really touches me because it's not just changing the one person, it's changing the whole family. Other people around the community that are involved with education and youth work sort of ask me how do you do it and things and I just like analyse it and I think to myself well what do I do first that's different to everyone else and that's just to create, you know, make them feel loved and welcomed and, and um, belong. Yeah. And I think that's what it is, once people have that sense of belonging then, then they take ownership themselves and yeah, and everything becomes easy. Yeah. Yeah.